Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rick. Welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. Last episode, we got pretty far, guys. We're in the Forbidden City. We have two zones left. We're gonna get to Eden here soon, all right? Before we do, let's go back to the Ark. I'm wondering if the Elder has anything new to tell us. I mean, we're getting very close to exposing some answers here. You defy me. You defy your Elder. I told you not to go through the Forbidden City. The city is a tomb. The Red Plague poisons its air. Strange beings patrol its grounds. Perversions of the ancients. And still you go. Still you seek this ridiculous Eden. There is no Eden. He's getting Stop mad. This Why are you so mad, Before Elder? You get yourselves killed. What do you have to say now? Thank you for letting this <laughs> old man I like how he... He's like, thank you for letting me stupid. yell at you. Uh, all right, old man. I don't trust you, all right? I'll be real. I don't trust you. Pull up a stool, stalkers. So I have some stuff to spend here. Um, let's see. I've unlocked almost everything. I don't have tough guy. Extend crew bleed out time by two turns and unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. Um, Technophobe, additional 10% crit chance against mechanical enemies. That would have been really good to have before. And honestly, moving forward, I can imagine that we're going to fight some more enemies like that. So it'll be good moving forward as well. We do have some scrap. We can buy some stuff from Meridia if we Welcome. want to. We have if nine med kits gear, right now. I've we're good right it. there. Um, I could also buy another EMP grenade. At this point, Save I feel travels. like that's probably the best use for our money. Because we have... We're sitting pretty good on supplies, honestly. So, here we go. I'll give you an EMP here, okay, buddy? And I'm pretty sure Pharaoh are... No, Pharaoh actually doesn't have one. You know, Pharaoh actually should have the EMP then. In that case, all right, let's have Pharaoh have an EMP. Because we have weapons that can actually function as EMPs. So we'll give Pharaoh one too. Now everybody has EMP capabilities. All right, guys. I think two more zones. We've got this uh, place right outside the Forbidden Zone. And then we've got Eden. Whew. It's, it's getting nuts. I'm really curious to find out what the heck is going on here. And, yeah, I didn't do the thing which I usually do, which was peek inside the next zone so that I can fast travel there because I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. So we're just going to have to run through the Forbidden City real quick one more time. Which is okay, because maybe it'll give us a chance to spot anything that we might have missed the first time through. Maybe, just maybe. Who knows? Maybe there's some scrap or something lying around. We'll see. I mean, we're almost there, too. It doesn't take us long to walk through the zone. But I will say about the zone, it is the most, like the largest and the most densely populated zone that I've been in so far. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're almost there. Here we go. What's beyond the Forbidden City? I don't know. Holy mother of Grod. What is going to be in this zone? Okay. There's the dilapidated robot right off the bat. The sealed gate. Okay. Looks like it was recently destroyed, too. I mean, it looks pretty new. It's on fire. Like, somebody just blew that mech up. So close. And now the Novasec beat us to it. The Novasec. That explains it. Okay. So we're going to have to take on some Novasec jerks. Okay, we've got Brother Mike Luktar. Did I say Mike? I meant Mark. And Sect Hunter. Okay. These guys are going to be easy enough to deal with. So if this Sect Hunter comes our way, we'll definitely be able to pick him off. No problem. And it looks like he's going to stop right there. Okay. So we have a Sect Hunter. We have one of those mind control jerks. I was hoping for some more robots. But, you know, we take what we can get. We have somebody up there, which is probably another Sect Hunter. Holy ancient power. I feel the gates break. 
speaking! The secret numbers call to us! Yeah, the sacred numbers! What that guy said. They're I really excited about numbers. Listen to the words of Plutonia. Okay, Medbot? We stand before Sect the Pyro. Of okay. Eden. Inside lies the sacred numbers. The Honestly, numbers I'm strong enough at this point that taking out these guys isn't the nearly as daunting as it seemed before. The gates. Enter Eden. Find the sacred numbers. I'm pretty powerful. Okay, we've got a hunter over here. We can take out. Possibly. Okay, we've got a sect hunter and a sect butcher over here. Okay. And a sect tank. Okay. So I'm just trying to find out which ones I can sort of separate from the pack. Okay, the tank and the butcher are like right on top of each other. That's going to be a tough one. Right, let's head over here. Okay, I've got a okay, we got police spots and police spots enforcers over here. Okay. So we are gonna have to deal with the Nova Sect and the police spots, which is fine. We can do this as long as we do it smart. Okay, Sect Hunter and a High Priest Plutonia. Aha! High Priest Plutonia. Alright. We've been hearing a lot about her. We're finally gonna get to meet her. Alright. Let's go back down this way. See if I can pick these guys off. Hopefully not start a huge fight that I can't get myself out of. Okay. There's the hunter. Okay. And there's brother what's-his-name. Okay, brother what's-his-name. Brother Mark. I want to make sure that the hunter that's on top of this crate doesn't see us either. I mean, honestly, if I fight two separate instances, like if I start the fight with these jerks, I think that we'll be able to take him out. Okay, Hunter. Like, I don't think that Plutonia and her goons are going to necessarily flock towards us if we accidentally alert more people here. Here, I'm going to try to take out this Sect Hunter, though. Hopefully the guy up there doesn't see us. Okay, Sect Hunter. Uh, what kind of damage can I do? I can do decent damage. Um, if I up our chances, though, let's see. If I get closer, that's 100% chance. Where can I get and not alert? Okay, I can scoot right here and have 100% chance of hitting. Drop that down right there with the crit. Okay, good. And now Pharaoh... You got a 75% chance to hit. I don't want you to use your boomstick, though, right? There we go. Use your pistol. Here we go. Can we crit 55% chance? Who you're messing with. Come on, crit. Right. Nice. And we lit you on fire. Perfect. Now we've just got to get Borman. Okay, there's a 30% chance to crit here. Ah, oh, that's going to do it. Awesome. Okay. Whew, that was close. That Thank was goodness awesome. for that crit. Okay, now we've got this guy all by himself here. Get your asses over here. So once he gets over here, we can probably take him out without being seen by that goon up there. Let's go see what he dropped. Some scrap. Okay, so here comes Brother Mark Luchter. Let's see how far he comes this way. We'll wait for him to stop, then we'll take him out. He has 36 HP, though, so you know what? Taking out Brother Mark is going to be a noisy proposition. We're not going to be able to take out Brother Mark without using our big guns. Thinking maybe we can climb up here, though, and take out this jerk. Break down the maybe. Gates. Maybe Tear not. Apart. Bring the sacred numbers to me! You know what? We're just going to do it. We're just going to uh, go in loud and proud. Rock these guys. Because we're not going to be able to sneak up on Brother Mark. It's just not going to happen. So we're just going to go in. Guns blazing. All right. 
Um, I'm going to stone skin. There we go. And I'm going to move up on Brother Mark. Let's see. Get into a position where I can get a 100% shot. There we go. Yo, what's up, Brother Mark? Got a gift for you. Heart. Boom. All right. And Brother Mark is on fire. Um, also, Brother Mark, uh, I've got another gift for you. It comes by way of ducks. And Ducks is going to, yeah, he's gonna sh he's gonna share his gift with you. His gift is called Kablooey. <laughs> there we go. And lastly, we've got Pharaoh. Pharaoh, oh Pharaoh. Go ahead and show Brother Mark what you can do, all right? With your boomstick. Now, Brother Mark's gonna survive, and Brother Mark's probably going to do chain lightning. I am the beautiful but we should survive it, just fine. Easy. Oh, Brother Mark, you're gonna burn out in two turns. You are one of the chosen! Oh, actually, no, you're going to actually boost this guy. No sweat on it. Okay, sec, Butcher's coming in, and then the tank. He's gonna, ooh, absorbed by Borman, nice. I'm not even sure how you hit him through that shipping container. It really looked to me like you couldn't have a shot there, but what do I know? What do I know? Not a lot, apparently. Um, okay. I'm going to fly, all right? We're going to fly and see if I can hit this guy. That's a 75% chance to hit. Can I scoot closer and hit better? Looks like 75 is the best chance I'm going to get. So, Pharaoh, up you go, all right? Um... Okay, we only have this 75% chance, and that's fine. Let's do it. Uh, fire weapon? There we go. Get from me! Oh. Foreman, okay, we're just gonna let Brother Mark burn out, and he will. Um, I have a 25% chance of hitting, no matter which weapon I have equipped, so... We'll, we'll take the small odds. Yep. Oftentimes, the small odds don't pay. No chance of hitting, huh? I probably need to get closer. Probably out of range. Um, I probably don't have a shot here, but we'll see. No, I do. 25% chance. And we missed. Okay. Oh, that guy... That guy dies if brother, if the brothers die. Okay, so that's good to know. I think that I've known that before, I just forgot. But if you're being possessed and you die, then guess what, you're gonna die. Um, okay, I've got the sec butcher sort of dead to rights. Let's do it. Now it's getting fun. There we go. Sec butcher will die in one turn. Actually, do I want to fight the Sec Butcher right now? Do I want to take him out? Y yeah, I'm going to take him out. You know why? Because if the tank tries to charge at Borman or at Ducks, he can't knock us down. Enough. Ooh, nice. Oh, but you're not going to try to knock us down, right? Okay. Borman, reload. And shoot this dumb tank. There we go. And Ducks, go ahead and get over here now. Um, we need more ammo, huh, ducks? Okay. Um, more ammo it is. And you're entirely too far away to hit here. So, we'll just move you into range here. Uh, actually, can I, if I fly, will I have a better shot? You're still out of range if I fly, huh? Okay, we'll just run then. Right in front of him. Yeah, that doesn't work so well for you, does it? All right, is Pharaoh back up? She is great. All right, Pharaoh rejoins us. I'm going to flank and hit you real good, buddy. Real, real good. There we go. Ooh. And we critted. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, Pharaoh. Um... 
Only a 25% chance. Not terrific. You know, if that's the case, I'm just going to move you right here. All right. No chance to hit, huh? Well, I'll be. Okay. In that case, we're going to overwatch. Borman, you can hit, though. We can definitely flank right here. If I crit, you're dead. Yeah, all right. But you're going to burn out in two turns. At best. Overwatch. 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 There we go. Just let you burn out. Easy peasy. Come on. And now we're level 69. All right. We're almost to level 70. Which I wonder, is level 70 the cap? Or is there a cap at all? I don't know. We'll, sir, we'll, we'll soon discover. Okay, let's go up here and get whatever this guy dropped. What did you drop, buddy? There we go. Some weapons parts. All right, now it's on to go beat up our uh, high, priestess, high priestess. Excuse me, over here. So we do have a couple of robots over here, by the way. Um, so we've got a police bot and a police bot enforcer. I could try to take them out if I wanted to. And I probably Break could, honestly. The gates of Eden. Let's try it. We're going to try to take these guys out. So, if Ducks and Borman both stun, then these guys are done for. Um, so, I'm going to move you right up here. You'll go for the police bot enforcer, all right? Come on, stun. Excellent. Okay. And now, time for Ducks to try to get a stun on this guy. We got a 75% chance from here. We can do better than that. We can do 100% if we go over here. All right, come on, stun. Does that hurt? Perfect, okay. And now we can just go ahead and use our silenced weapons to take these guys out. Now, Pharaoh, move forward. There we go. Let's increase that to 100% chance. I took a little chance there before, but no sense of taking right. another chance. Uh, Borman, let's see if we can re-up our stun on this police bot. And we did. Perfect. Which means that Duck should be able to finish off this guy. Right here. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go focus on the police bot Forcer! Mr. Enforcer. Sir, I'm going to need you to just chill out, all right? You're, you're kind of freaking out, buddy. But we've got a remedy for that. Don't you worry. We're going to get you taken care of. Uh, let's reload with Borman. Hopefully, Borman can stun again. Come on, stun again, Borman. Hero, real hero, Borman. We love having you on the team. There we go. Just stunning all up in this biz. Hi there. And last shot, last kill. I'm the hero, you're the zero. Boom, all right, fantastic. Let's grab some loot. Come on. Now we're level 70, guys. We are level friggin' 70. This is amazing. We're such a high level. Is there good stuff in here? There's another bar. Let's head upstairs and see what this place has. Ooh, a nice little lounge area. This is actually pretty nice. Pretty oh. swanky. All right, what else do we got in this area that was being guarded by these police bots? We got robo scraps. And anything back here behind these walls? Anything? Not really, okay. Behind this truck, maybe? Nothing? Oh, here we go. Broken gun. Thank you so much. Oakley doakley. Break the gates down and find the sacred numbers. Okay. Here we go. This must be the place. Plutonia and a sect hunter. Is there anybody Can't else around here? On. Is it just Plutonia and a sect hunter? If it is, then this fight may be easier than I expected. Let's see. 
Sect Hunter, High Priestess Plutonia. I think that that might be it. No, never mind. There are four blips on my heads up display. So let's go see what those other blips are. All right. Oh, here we go. We've got a Sect Pyro there, which actually we can pick off. And then we have the tank, it looks like, over there. Okay. So knowing that the Pyro is all by themselves, we can take out that Pyro. Let's do that. Let's do that before anybody sees us do that. All right. All right, Pyro. And we've got the med bot over there, too. So we don't want to mo uh, alert the med bot. Um, let me check something, actually, real quick. Hold on. As far as my inventory goes, is everything level three right now? Okay. Level three. Yes. Level three. Excellent. Okay. Um, ducks. Level three, level three, yep. And level three, level three. Okay, everything's level three, good. I just wanted to make sure that we were getting the most damage. And how about points here? Okay, if we allocated all of our points properly, I could do with frog move if I wanted to. I don't need to. Let's see. Doubles crit chance when shooting whilst hidden. Okay, I could do that too. Um, Foreman. That smoke move, okay. That's that's all fine. I just want to make sure that we're doing as much damage as possible. Okay. How is it that I only have a 50% chance here? Um, shooting from here. Okay, let's scoot forward a little bit. Gonna be seen. And... Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Um, 55% crit chance is pretty good. Let's Give go. up now and I'll go easy on ya. Yes! Okay, good. Crit. Awesome. Uh, Borman. Okay, let's get you out here too. And 30% crit chance. Come on. Excellent. Okay. So now we just need to put ducks up in here. And ducks can definitely crit. So I think that this pyro is done for. So, actually, ducks doesn't even need to use the skull splitter. Ducks can just use his regular shot. There we go. And you crit it anyway. So good. Amazing. Okay. So the pyro's dead. Nobody got on to the fact that the pyro just exploded. And we can take out this medbot now because we have. Hey. All of the abilities of taking out robots. Um, where is the tank? The tank is right next to the med bot. I wonder if that tank's going to move at all. It would be really convenient if that tank patrolled. I'm not sure if it does. It may just stay put right there. Okay, I'm going to try to take out this medbot and see if this tank notices. If it does, then we're starting battle. If it doesn't, then cool. All right. Okay. So, 100% chance to hit. There we go. We should stun. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Okay, good. The tank doesn't know about what we're doing here yet. We didn't stun, unfortunately. So, let's see if we can stun here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then, Pharaoh, we're not going to move at all. We're just going to stay right where we are. Yeah. One more shot should do the trick. Excellent. Okay. Medbot's down. Okay, so we are still in combat. But they don't know where we are. So I'm going to move back here. Okay, and reload. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that there was a Mimer Z600 over here. Oh shit, okay. So now they're all onto us, okay. They're not all onto us, it's still just the Mimer, okay. Um, <laughs> this is kind of unbelievable. I'm surprised that they haven't caught on to me yet. Okay, let's move over here. Does Ducks have any kind of a shot here? 
Um, we have a 75% chance, actually. So let's see if we can stun you. That had to hurt. And we did. We stunned you. Perfect. Okay. Um, Pharaoh, let's put you back here and we'll have you reload. And then Borman. Here, I'm going to put you back here with ducks. All right, my man? Let's keep using silenced weapons. Uh, reload. There we go. Excellent. This guy's gonna make a big bada boom when he when he dies. So if people don't notice, then they are not paying attention. Bill stunned, which is perfect for us. Come get some. It. And reload that old crossbow. <laughs> All right. Um, is Pharaoh too close? Do you think when it explodes? Do you think Pharaoh's gonna take some blast? I think that she might. So I'm gonna actually move Pharaoh back over to where Ducks was, right here. All right. Have you reload there, Pharaoh? Uh, reload there, Borman and. Take another shot. Ah, oh, you missed. You missed wide, man. Okay. Reload their ducks and fire. Come on, please stun again. Gotcha. There we go. Awesome. Okay. I cannot believe that these guys don't notice the fact that this Mimer Z600 is just like totally on to somebody. Ooh. Okay, one HP left. It's gonna blow. All right, Pharaoh. Um, gonna have you scoot over just a little bit more, okay? And then we're gonna have I'm a much. Borman finish it off. Here we go, Borman. And explode. There we go. We are now level 71. Wow! And we're no longer in combat. How they did not notice that that was happening is just beyond me. Um, that's fine though. That is absolutely fine by me. All right, guys. Group back up. Okay. So we have a tank now. We have a hunter. And then we have High Priestess Plutonia. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sneak up on these jerks. I've got grenades. I have Pharaoh's amazing ability to hit three people with one shot. And I just got to make sure I find an angle to do that. And then, of course, I've got grenades as well that I can use. So I think this angle right here, Pharaoh should be able to hit them. I'm going to start in on them with uh, grenades, okay? We're going to start this ambush by dropping some grenades. Everybody's got grenades, right? I do believe everybody does. Grenade, grenade, grenade. As a matter of fact, since we're not going into combat with any robots, let's make sure that we get some... Maltops going instead of EMP grenades, huh? There we go. That's much better. Okay. So let's ambush, guys. Y'all ready for this? Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna grenade and switch on over to grenade. There we go. This will work pretty dang well. Does that hurt? Perfect. Okay. Yep, they're on to us now, but that's okay. Borman. You've got grenades too, man. Let her rip. Excellent. Okay. Now time to move Pharaoh up. Pharaoh, I'm going to put into position. Let's see. Actually, I can have Pharaoh fly. If I have Pharaoh fly... They're out of range, are they? Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. That's fine. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. I'm going to put you right here, okay? Where is... I can shoot you two. I don't have a good shot on you, though. Because the percentage is so low. Okay. Since that's the case, we're just going to go old-fashioned on this one, alright? As a matter of fact... We're going to go grenade old-fashioned. That's what we're going to do. There we go. Sect Hunter's almost dead now. Yes! 
All right, Priest Plutonia. I'm sure you got some amazing moves. And I'm actually a little nervous about finding out what they are. But hopefully we can kill you soon enough. All right, Plutonia. Yep, you've got Chain Lightning. Okay, that's not that amazing. Okay, I hope you don't have anything crazier than that. All right, Borman. Um, we can probably take out this tank here pretty soon. If we play it smart. Tank here. Yeah, there we go. If we get a crit. Let's see. I'm going to stone skin Borman. And fingers crossed we get a crit here. Oh, no crit. Okay, but still pretty good damage. Um, ducks. Do you have what it takes with your amazing new weapon to kill this guy? Oh, you do. You know you do. Gotcha. That's they what I'm talking about. So now we've got the... Oh, yeah. Okay, she's doing that move. But she did it to Pharaoh, who was already down. So if she was going to do it to anybody, I'm glad she did it to Pharaoh, because Pharaoh's going to be stunned for one more turn. All right, um, we have a 50% chance of hitting this dink over here if I run up to him. Let's just take that chance. All right. 50% chance. Um, you know what? I'm going to switch to my... Actually, yeah, it's, it's loaded. Perfect. Fire weapon. Perfect. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> now it's just us and Plutonia. And you know what, Plutonia? I still have run and gun. Which means that I can possibly, yep, flank you. Oh, you didn't see that one coming, did you? You didn't see that one coming, Plutonia. All right. Let's go ahead and fire. Oh, but you use your friggin' telekinesis powers. Okay, here comes the shock, I guess? Yeah, that was better. Oh, no. You just resurrected somebody, didn't you? Okay, yep, we resurrected the Sect Hunter. Snap, okay. Borman, we're gonna need to heal ya, all right, buddy? Um, heal that Borman. And 50% chance of hitting there, 25% chance of hitting there. You know what, though? I do believe, yes, I do. I have another grenade that I can use. Okay. Do I use the grenade, though? I mean, I would feel like I'm wasting it. Unless I had a good cluster. Um, you know what? Let's just try this 50% chance. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, and now let's take this jerk out. So, ducks, you can just walk and flank this guy. Um, I think that you've still got some shots left. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. And so if I kill this guy twice, does he drop twice as much stuff? I don't think he drops anything after he dies the second time. Everyone in the Ark will die! Okay, Borman's been shocked. Not a huge fan of that. Oh, but High Priestess, you're gonna run over there. Okay, that's okay. Pharaoh's gonna get up and possibly kill Borman. Or not. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm completely fine with Pharaoh's decision to do that. I am completely fine with it. Um, okay, so me and you, Borman, let's flank this jerk, all right? Oh, come on, stop with that move. It's so annoying. Okay, Borman, 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 Borman. Um, you know what? Borman, you're gonna heal and you're gonna reload, all right? It's just what you're gonna have to do. High Priest is going to continue to run like a little babby. Okay. If that's the way this is going to be, High Priest, seriously, um, I don't have a running gun yet. I have a 50% chance of hitting from here, though. Which is better than nothing. Come on. Yes! And I lit you on fire, too. You're going to be on fire for four turns. Amazing. Okay. Uh, now I can get half cover here. I have no ammo equipped in my weapon, though. Shucks. Okay, we're gonna have to reload. Yep, definitely out of range. So, let's take half cover over here. Actually, right here. There we go. 
feel like I'm far enough away from Borman that she can't do her chain lightning on both of us. And hey, Pharaoh's back. All right. Glad to have Pharaoh back. I'm just going to have Pharaoh sprint. Ah! Dude, this priest is really running, man. She is just booking it. Um, ducks, man. Okay. Wow, ducks. You've got a good shot here, man. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And I think that we've actually got our skull splitter, too, so we can crit here. There we go. Absolutely use that skull splitter. I swear to God, if you move. Oh, God damn it. Come on. I am so sick of that. If that is anything like um, Magnus's move, I know that it only has like a 25% chance of working. And the fact that you've been able to use it that much just seems like such bullshit. Such bullshit. All right, Overwatch and Pharaoh. Um, we'll move you over here, all right? Have you Overwatch. Eden belongs to us. So ridiculous. Ah, you missed. Okay. God damn it, Plutonia. Just stand still and let me get a shot in on you. I swear to God, if you use this telekinesis thing this time and I don't hit you, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably swear. You're gonna make me swear. There we go. Good. That's right. Did you feel that? Didn't feel good, did it? And you still got two more turns of burn damage. Alright, Pharaoh. Um. I can put you over here, Pharaoh. She's out of range over here, though. If I were to have my pistol, though, still out of range. Okay. In that case, Pharaoh, let's put you here. Oh, can I actually shoot you through this window? Perhaps. I can't. Say my name, Chiswipe. It's Pharaoh. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Suck it, Plutonia. That's right. And we leveled up again. Arc 1. Nova Sect Zero. Their insane plans to destroy our home vanish into the wind. We're safe. Our people live another day. The smoke clears. Ears still ringing. On the edge of my blurred vision, something comes out of the arc. Light dancing across my arm, up my face. I look up. I'm being scanned by some giant eyeball. Then Dux and Faro get scanned. Then Magnus and Selma. The light cuts out and the eyeball darts back inside the wall. We hear pistons churning, gears turning, a machine humming back to life. The gates of Eden open. Maybe Eden sees we're mutants. And welcomes us home. Ooh! Do we get to see Eden there now? In silence. The five of us are all mutants, found and raised by the Elder. This feels like an answer to the question that's plagued our lives. Who are we? And do we go in and find out? When Ducks and me first started out, everything was cut and dry. The Elder knew best. There were no answers in the zone. Mutants didn't know who they were, where they came from, and that was fine. No one cared. But now, after the enemies we fought, after the friends we found, after all we've seen, the five of us stand here at the gates of Eden. Do we go in? Do we want to know who we are? Boy, we do we go home. in? Nah, let's open that gate, see what this Eden really is. Do we go in or do we go home? Do we go in or do we go home? Oh, we gotta go in, right? Yeah. Like I said, I don't trust the Elder. And by the way, we still have two more artifacts out there, and we still have six more notes. We're gonna have to go find those. I wonder if there's actually artifacts and notes around these parts that we haven't found yet. There's probably a pretty good chance of that being a thing. You know, before we leave, though, here we go. I'm going to take that loot. 
And I'm also going to go make sure that Plutonia didn't drop any awesome loot that we can grab. Here we go. Grab that. Plutonia? I feel like Plutonia had to have dropped something, right? If she didn't, I'm going to feel mighty ripped off. Here we go. An EMP grenade. All right. Those are expensive. I'll take it. Here we go, guys. We're going off on an adventure. What could possibly be at the at Eden? Could it, could it be more mutants? I could swear that I've been here before. I wow. feel it deep inside. Eden's kind of a mess. I've seen this star before, and all those crashed flying machines. The stories are true. They came from Eden. Yeah, I I expected to maybe see people here. Oh, here's a note. Military recall. Command is in a state of total panic following the loss of Orbital Z1. A order has been issued to return all militarized bots and equipment directly to Unit Theta. My suspicions are confirmed without a shadow of a doubt. We are at war. I can only hope that this is quick regardless of who wins. Okay, so now we only have five notes to find. Five notes and two artifacts. Maybe we'll find them here. We do need a lot of answers here. So I was expecting to actually see some people here. Maybe some robots. But maybe, just maybe, this Eden place is just all automated. Automated to invite mutants back home. Okay, before I go this way, which seems like the right way to be going, I want to go check what's over here to the left inside here. First, let's check over here. Is there anything I can pick up? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I want to check this way before I go that other way, which, like I said, felt like I was going the right way. So, ah, oh, here we go. Is this a med kit? The med was going to be there, and boom. The med pack was there. Project canceled. Evacuation orders have been given, and destruction order has been issued for all research, including the healthy biological subjects. This has upset a number of us, not just for the ethical reasons, but for the sheer loss of what we have accomplished. The news has hit Ingmer particularly badly. He's locked himself in the birthing chamber with the subjects and refuses to open the door. Okay, I'm telling you, Ingmer, Ingmer the Elder. And anybody leave anything over in these corners? Oh, maybe something back here? Nothing, okay. Let's continue on, guys. Okay, we've got a door here. Looks like a bunk area, all right. No notes in here, really? Feels like this place would be a perfect place to have a note, but okay. So we've explored this side. Glad we did. Before we went going in the other direction. Oh, brother. I can't wait to have everything explained to me. I've been theorizing oh, stuff. Those machines, but all quiet. Let's try not to wake them up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, warning signs up ahead. Quarantine area. All right. This is the place I was dreaming about. Can you believe it? Eden. This makes you question your whole life, right? Can well, investigate hey, something over there. We've got another the note here. You seek are around the corner. Peace talks fail. It is a tense and dreadful time, and we have heard whispers that the peace talks have broken down irreparably. And to confirm this somewhat, Command has just ordered us to consider Elysium as hostile and to forcibly remove, if necessary, any Elysium diplomats and scientists from the facility. This is a sad day for us all. Okay, so this is a breakdown in order here. All of the different uh, command centers turning against one another. I haven't missed this investigate there, but I do want to just keep looking around before I investigate that. Well, you know what? Let's investigate it. Because it does seem like we're moving on to a very important God, place there. I believe it. Aren't we deep underground? Oh. Yeah, this is like the parks that we've seen all over Earth. How can there be trees and grass here? How is that possible? What the what? Okay. Interesting. Um... 
yeah, this is definitely where they made us, right? This is definitely where they made us mutants. Oh, look at this. It's a little preschool. A little mutant preschool. Okay, cute. Adorable. Um, any notes, though? Okay, there's a door. A door that opens. Another bunk area. Okay. Come on. Investigate. Here we go. <gasps> Picture of Bowman. Can't be oh, look at it! It's ducks! It? Picture of Borman, picture of ducks! Oh my god! We all grew up together here! So, I'm betting things broke down. They were like, guess what? The, um, the whole operation to make these mutants is over. Ingmer, who's the elder, was like, no, these are my children. I've got to save them. So he saved the ones that he could. You know, Borman and ducks. Maybe he couldn't save uh, Pharaoh. Maybe somebody else saved Pharaoh. But they got him off of this station and whisked them away safely to Earth. Which is why Ingmer, the Elder, didn't want us finding out about this. It was easier for us not to know. Bone Density Report 12W. Regression of in skeletal mass against in soft tissue mass in passer and birds, rodents, and bats... Uh, raw data is in the electric supplementary material to the mass of the mammal skeletons. 15% was added to account for the fact that mammal bones are not, uh, pneumatized, but contain marrow. Regression slopes do not differ significantly. Comparison of skeletal mass using analysis of covariance. I've never heard that word. Demonstrates that the mass of the bird skeleton is indistinguishable from that of the rodents. Okay. So the rodent, by the way, they must be talking about Pharaoh. And by the way, foxes aren't rodents. Thank you very much. Oh my I God! I can't believe what I'm seeing. This skull is like an animal's, not like a human. Was like a bull person. This might be a mutant, like us. Oh my God! What did they do to it? Oh dear God. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's get out of this room. Where the hell do we go now? Holy crap. There's some startling discoveries being made here. Alright, what do we got over here? How many notes do we have left? Uh, we've only got two more notes to find. And something tells me we're gonna find both of them on this place. Okay, yep, we've got another note here. DNA analysis. The data yielded a maximum likelihood of 0 .20 PNG for the two haplo types. The 95% Confidence interval for the PNG was for two haplotypes. The two ha okay, so this is all science stuff, okay? I don't know about haplotypes, but look at this. Okay, look at this. Borman? Ducks. They've got our friggin' uh, x-rays on the wall. So any question about where we came from is now answered. We definitely came from this place. Okay, final note's got to be in this place here. What? Okay, dead guy. What's up, dead guy? Um, do a sweep of the area. Check for that final note. Okay, these must be like birthing pods here. Got a little incubator there. Oh, little baby incubators. That console was a place to retrieve knowledge. I wonder if it has the answers we're seeking. We, here we go. huddle around the screen. The words, Mutant Project Blink, on and off in big red letters. The screen turns black, then explodes with a flurry of flashing images, faster than we can take in. I catch glimpses of mutants in test tubes, animals in cages, oh my God. strands of code, something called DNA. The screen freezes on one final image. An employee profile. A scientist Ingmar! of the project. What did I tell it you? says his name is Ingmar Edison. His face. When we see his face, those eyes staring back at us. Of course! We couldn't believe it. We all it saw this him. coming! The profile How old is Ingmar? Is what I want to know. revoked. After stealing mutant experiments from the lab. Oh, little baby Borman and Duck, so cute! Back. So cute! We were the experiments. They raised us in tubes and played games with our DNA. 
made us freaks. Oh the no! Was part of this. Happy endings died with the ancients. Why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients calling down from space. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center Sweden. I repeat, Command Center Sweden. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center. That's it. I guess that's the ending of Mutant Year Zero, guys. Uh, I gotta say, I saw it coming. Borman was spinning there at the end. He couldn't quite make, you know, didn't know what to make of the fact that they'd been sort of deceived their entire lives. But part of me wants to believe that the Elder's uh, intentions were pure. I believe that he actually loved these mutants and maybe there were sinister implications to why they started the operation, but he really felt for these guys. Why were they creating mutants, though? Were they trying to create a race of animal people that can survive on Earth? That is what I'm curious about. And I'll be real, it sort of sets up nicely for a sequel now, and I would be completely on board with playing another Mutant Year Zero. I had a really great time playing this. Uh, at the beginning, it seemed very, very difficult. And the game can be very, very difficult. And it did have some issues as far as the combat goes. Some things I think could be tightened. So if there is a sequel, there's definitely some places where they can tighten up that combat. But the story, the characters, the environment, I had a great time playing this. I hope you guys had a great time watching it. And uh, if you did, then I hope you'll give this a like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And come back next time when I'll be playing something amazing. I'll see you guys then. Bye, everybody.